My name's Carolyn Hirons and I'm the physiotherapist here at PACE Rehabilitation. When you have an amputation or have been born without um, limbs, it does change your posture and it changes how you use your muscles. Um, and what can happen is you can get a lot of pain in the remaining joints and muscles or, or abnormal movement patterns that can be very effortful and, and make people it difficult to move or at risk of falls and then when you throw in a prosthesis into that mix the prosthesis can make movement more difficult and make you move in a strange way and my role is really to teach people how to move in the correct way and be in control of the prosthesis rather than the prosthesis controlling them. Having worked in the NHS I know what the restraints are uh, and know how difficult it can be sometimes to optimise your treatments because you're so busy. Um, but here we have a lot more time with the patients. Toby and I work very closely together. So when a, a patient comes, they generally will see both of us. Um, again, that means that somebody can really find out whether their limb works well and is comfortable before they take it away. They do take it home to trial at home, but hopefully we've optimised it before they do that. First of all, to, uh, my objectives with any new patient is to try and help them fulfil their, their goals and their, um, their aspirations. All right, so on this leg... Or so this always in our assessment, side side. not only are we looking at their physical Three. ability and agility uh, and attributes, but want to know um, what they want to achieve, what are their expectations, uh, and try and help them to achieve that. Sometimes, well, I'll, I'll, there is, the hardware is really important, but also how they um, feel about themselves, how they trust their own movement and their strength. Um, reducing falls is a, a big issue. A lot of people are very frightened of doing things in case they fall. And so I need to give them confidence in their own ability and in the ability of the prosthesis. So that's sort of really important objective for me. And then more in the long term, I, w I want to give them the ability to look after themselves so that they, can, they know how to care for their own body, um, their musculoskeletal structures, so that they don't get arthritis and other joint strains um, and become more debilitated by the secondary problems that can occur from wearing a limb every day. So I try and give them long term advice that they can go away with and look after themselves. Uh, and another objective is trying to motivate people. Um, we, I don't have a prosthesis, I have my two, two legs, two arms, but I can give them anecdotal um, information from other patients. I really am only passing on what other people have done and, and hopefully that's quite inspiring for them and to say, well, I know this is possible, what, what do you think? Or uh, I can help you to do this. So to inspire people as well is, is quite important and motivate them. So as a physiotherapist, it is our responsibility to record outcome measures um, to see whether our intervention has made any difference to that per particular person. Um, the sorts of things we would use is a, a functional measure, how somebody has improved in their function. For example, being able to hang the washing out or pick some, an object up off the ground or carry something or manage slopes, those sorts of functional measures. But we're also concerned in how well somebody moves. So we might take movie clips of people. Okay. If somebody walks well with minimal deviations, it shows they're really in control of their movement. It's going to reduce strain on the rest of their body, reduce their risks of falling, um, give them more confidence. And it's more energy efficient to move more normally as you can, rather than using abnormalities to get by. You can't separate somebody's emotion and their mindset and their psychology from their physical body and their ability to move around. So we do have this a whole team for a whole person. Um, we have a consultant in rehabilitation that we can um, who comes and does sessional work with us. If there's a, a medical problem that we're t picking up on or an orthopaedic problem that we need advice about, he will he's available for us to um, ask. To, to assess patients and give uh, his advice to us. Um, and also we work closely with a plastic surgeon. A lot of these patients have um, difficult scar areas because of the trauma they've been through and this prevents them moving on quite often with pieces of equipment. So the plastic surgeon can be involved to assess whether surgery, more surgery, refashioning surgery would make a big difference to them succeeding in their prosthetic use. So we do have a whole, whole team here 
uh, to look at the, the whole person.